Hello everyone, this is Fancy Esk and welcome back to Niche Warrior Story in the 3rd century of White Age. When we left off in the previous episode, our citizens of Flantha discovered a new port city by the name of Briar. So we have Ifeanda II who has taken up her mantle as Lady, without the title of course. For now she is just tending to this particular strip of city and waiting for the new Lord to arrive so that she can become his mate. However, before we start, I do want to say that this is actually going to be the final episode for this series. The reason? Well, I have a bunch of other cool ideas I want to explore in Niche, and in order to get those started, I need to uh, wrap this up, tie it up in a bow, even though we're not going to be able to reach a whole lot of milestones that we had, like maybe see how the port city of Briar expands, how that little private lagoon we had is going to be used, and even reach a new age. I know those are things we're working towards, but unfortunately we're going to have to wrap up as much as we can in this episode and try and get whatever it is done, done. So hopefully you guys are okay with that and on board because the new idea that I have, I think you guys are going to find pretty fun. I mean, as you know, I love creating these challenges for niche, and my episodes typically last, or not episodes, but my videos, actually no, yes, episodes, for a season or a series typically for niche lasts about 25 to 30 episodes, probably around 20 to 30 episodes, so it really depends. I feel like that's kind of the prime time I need to feel out a challenge that I've made and whether or not it's functional and it's fun, all those kind of things. I have rarely played beyond that amount. I think the only challenge where I have played um, like around 70 videos was probably Pirate Cove. <laughs> so pat on the back for accomplishing that, but regardless this has been a very fun experience. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We are starting off with 18 nichelings, remember our cap is 25 because we have the mainland and we've unlocked two port cities. We also have food which is 333 in store, 228 nesting material, but of course we prefer to use the permanent nests. And we have this little girl who was born previously, but I forgot to name. So I went ahead, gave her the pink gemstone. She is a warrior through and through, and a fisher. She's probably going to be left along here, maybe, so that she can help tend to these private waters. But we need to name her. How could I forget? I forgot to name her. But okay, from the names list, which I've updated from what you guys, um, the like names you left in the previous episode, we're going to name her Celestila. Celestila. That's a really pretty name. So, actually, no! Wait. No, 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 yes, I can name her that because we already have Ify in the second. Sweet, so Celestila, welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I don't know if anyone else has aged up. Have they? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um. Oh yeah, we had a Barina. <laughs> That's right, when we left off, we had a Barina, everyone. So, I need to go ahead. Oh, look at you, Lu Luelle. I named you, didn't I? I am fairly sure I named you. Okay, you need your pink gemstone, young one. So, we'll get that sorted for you. Um, we also need to try and have the offspring wherever we can. But before we do that, okay, you know what? You know what? Azurachi, don't even worry about this. You have bigger things in life to worry about. Like trying to make it to a port city so that you can hopefully breed with your um your lady and oh yeah some of you did let me know that actually Azurachi has lost some life from being in the river because I shouldn't forget that even though he spends time in the river he can't breathe underwater so in some of these uh, blocks where you have the waterfalls I'm gonna have to jump him out if possible of there and not keep him in otherwise he's just gonna drown but if we are lucky if we are lucky we just might see him be able to breed at least once with Ifeen the second and get his title of Lord before all of this is over that is pretty much our goal and main story right now I want to have a Briar send-off that's what I want for this series I want to have a Lord crowned for Briar and a lady and for them to have at least one child on this nest and then I'll be able to leave this series with a happy face. <laughs> okay, uh, who else are we kind of looking to breed? Hold on a second guys. Who else have I been breeding? Nightingale, 
Okay, so Nightingale and Elenovia the second. I feel like they have kind of done their part. So that's pretty good. We also have Flamesum and Ifeen. Okay, Flamesum the second and Ifeen. Well, Ifeen, you, where is she? She's over here. We're gonna get her to come up and breed with Flamesum the second again. So, there we go. We'll have this that we'll be waiting for. Um,. Okay, so they're moving. We're pretty much going to try our best to move things along as much as possible and to see as much progress in this finale episode. But okay, uh, Sezochi, grab your berries, jump this way, grab this berry. And who are we trying to get over on this side? Was it Aignel? Aignel, were you the one? I think you were the one we were trying to move over. So let's let's make whatever efforts we can to get you to Sezochi. I think you were supposed to take over for him. He is pretty much reached his old age at this point. Okay, you guys, how have you guys been doing? Do we need to have Oh that's right, we have a lady. Foreign the sixth is not Lord yet because his mother is still around, but his father has passed on, so no more children for them. Um, and were you waiting for someone? Lord Foran, you had the well, Olesa, and Foran the sixth. Foran, did you have a mate in mind? H and E. H and E. These are your sisters, so no. K and D. HD. Okay, Vubia. Where's Vubia? Vubia can be a good mate for you. And she is, holy cow, all the way here. Well, Vubia, you need to try your best to reach. You need to try and reach that island, man. So that you can be four and the sixth mate. So, Vubia, you are going to be hopefully the next lady that we have going forward. So, there we go. You and I know can travel together and I guess you can drop him off when you get to Sezochi. Ah, this is a very, very long journey she has to make, but she's quite young, so I'm hoping she's gonna get there just fine. Um, okay, and then we have these guys who aren't really moving. Actually, I think... Yeah, Elenovia the second and these three, they can move on ahead. I'm not worried about that. These ones, they have to stay down here because they need to light the way for Ozorochi. So, Elenovia the third. Let's try and... Ah, oh, darn it. Didn't get that. That's okay. We'll jump back here. Nightingale the third. Let's get some berries and jump around. There we go. You can stick on this nest and I think that helps out a little bit. So, we'll have that. And Nightingale the second. Um, why don't you jump on ahead and attack this Barina? Okay, Graven the fifth is gonna help you out. Come on, let's grab that Barina. Grab that Barina and Elenovia. You need to try and jump on this end. Okay, so all of them have this Barina surrounded. Hopefully in the next day they can attack it, take it down and get some some good meat off of that. And let's see, Ifeen, I am so sorry that I have left you in like a really odd position. I should have gotten you to skip around a little bit. Actually, no. You still have two days, so you can skip around. You can skip around. Okay, you're gonna get moving along with Flamesom. I don't think you guys need to stay here. And Overlord Flamesom, why don't you um, kind of stick around with your son who is about to take on the mantle of Lord very, very, very soon. Okay, flame zone, we need to try and make as much progress to this attack that's happening. I feel like as the overlord in line, you guys should be helping out these guys take down uh, this Barina, the first ever predator that's really showed up for you. So let's go ahead and get them to move along and get that done. I fiend the second, uh, as I said, she's kind of just going to tend to this spot, dig around a little bit and see what's going on. Celestila. You can play up here on the cliffs. She might be a little bit more like of a ward that grows up in this area, I think. Um, 
She is the sister of Ifeen the second, so I feel like she can stay with Ifeen on this private property and kind of help out. Um, yeah. So her older sister is pretty much going to raise her. I think that's absolutely adorable. Okay, you guys. How, can, how do I keep forgetting you guys? Okay, I'm so sorry. I don't know how and why I keep forgetting you. It's not intentional, I swear it. So why don't you guys jump on ahead over here. We'll get... Who's a good collector? Well, Luelle can collect a little bit. So she'll help out with that. Olesa the fourth. Uh, not the fourth, jeez. Uh, the sixth. Do you want to go ahead and help out with... Um, the fishies? Do you want to get moving? I mean, you're a little girl, so you probably won't need to stay here. You could probably actually get moving. So she's going to cross. Her sister Luel may cross with her as she gets a little bit older. But I think they might want to take part with the, the main group. I think that's what we might want happening with these guys. Because apart from the the male who's kind of taking over, the sons, it doesn't make sense for all the daughters to stay at the port cities now, does it? Okay, well, everyone's kind of moved around. Let's focus in on the Barina to see what sort of damage it does to us and get the day moving along. Oh no, Elanovia! Elanovia, my precious nicheling. But you have had three children. I think you and Nightingale the second. Look at them! Even on their final days, they're going ahead, fighting battles out together, defending each other till the end. That's so romantic. Okay, take that Barina down. That's right. And Olesta, I mean Graven, sorry, help her with her wounds. She's quite wounded, but she's got eight days, and Nightingale has four. Oh. Well, it seems as though she's going to pass away not that far behind Nightingale, so they're going to stay with each other, which I think is quite adorable, quite nice. And those are kind of their memories of the near end. Okay, Ozorochi, let's try our best. Darn it, I'm, I might have to get him. I'm going to get him out of the water, because like you guys said, he could drown. But I think you should be able to make a crossing here quite nicely. So actually what we'll do is get Ifeen the second to jump along here and come to the water's edge. And Celestila, let's get you your brownstone. You're gonna come here and I don't think it's safe for you to be in the water exactly, but I think you might be able to come here and kind of light the way. And then we'll have Nightingale the third grab a berry and let's see jump along here try and fish there we go so now we've got this area connected in the next day Ozorochi should definitely be able to cross and become the lord so that is quite exciting as for Ifeen she's ready to jump onto a nest now I'm gonna get her to jump onto this nest here gather some berries oh she took out that entire berry bush okay well that's good that's good and I'll leave these guys be for now. Oh, actually, why don't we get Vubia? Moving along with Ignel. Look at you guys! Look at you guys! Okay, he can really travel. And look, Sizachi, you have a best bud! Ignel is gonna take over for you when you pass away. So that's pretty good, Vubia. I don't know how long it's going to take for her to get where she needs to. She is going to try her best and hopefully eventually get there, though. Let's jump. Oh, let's, let's grab that bunnel. There we go. He's going to try grabbing that bunnel. He might be able to take care of things a lot easier now that he has his friend with him. And Olesa. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You needed a brown gemstone in the middle. You are a warrior through and through, honey. Okay, Olesa the sixth. She's kind of moving along. Her sister Luel, I think, is going to jump ship with her. And mother and son are gonna stay back and tend to this particular area while four and the sixth waits for his new mate. They have a long time though because his mother is still kind of the lady. It doesn't exactly dictate when he can breed but there we go we have that. And we're gonna try and move Olesa uh, as far along as possible because if these areas are connected then Vubia is gonna be able to travel a lot faster. So there we go. We've got that going on with these guys. 
And now I think Eleanovia the third can actually move on and catch up with everyone else. So she's gonna jump on ahead. Flames on the second. He's gonna get going. Where's his father? Okay, Overlord Flamesarm is on his last day, guys. Last day. So we'll get him jumping on ahead. Overlord Flamesarm is going to try and catch up as much as possible. He's a little bit far from his son, who in his eagerness has raced on ahead, leaving his father behind. Oh my goodness, it's his last day. He's going to pass away, but at least he's going to pass away. Seeing his son taking a step towards the future, and also seeing his son's mate have a grandchild born so well overlord's grandchild born they already have a flames on the third if i'm not wrong actually they don't they don't so is ifeen finally gonna have that grandson that overlord flames on has been waiting for is he gonna see his grandson before he passes away or is that gonna become a desire that he died with Oh my goodness, I hope I hope she has a boy. I hope she has. Is she gonna have a boy? Let's settle down and have a look. And it's a boy! It's a boy! Okay, and he is a warrior. Excellent. So we have Flame Zom the Third. Flame Zom the Third. Welcome to the family, young one. Welcome to the family. Look at this everyone just look at this we actually have the grandson that overlord flames on desired for a long long time finally born on the day of his death so the line is gonna live on the line is gonna live on and this is actually really cool because Ozorochi got to see uh, a potentially a future leader over here and also flames on the second is now going to become Overlord flames on the second. Now, his mother. Where is his mother? Oh, his mother was Lady Elenovia. That's right, she passed away. So, Ifeen. Where is Ifeen? Ifeen is now going to become Lady Ifeen. So, Lady Ifeen, welcome, welcome, welcome. She's gonna have that pink gemstone in the middle. Overlord Flames Arm's gonna have the dark brown gemstone in the middle. Oh my goodness, so many things happening. Okay, and Ozorochi is finally, finally gonna make it to his island. And over here, he is gonna get the title of Lord. So, Lord Ozorochi. We're also gonna have Lady Ifeen the Second. So, Lady I oh jeez, no. <laughs> Lady Ifeen the second. And she is hopefully gonna get expectant. Yes! Okay, so she's expectant, which is excellent. She's gonna stick around here and fish. Um, with a little bit of help from Celestila, who's gonna try and patrol this particular area and light the way for Ozorachi to take his seat upon the, oh, I don't know throne. This is not exactly a throne, exactly. But take his seat um, upon that cliff. The seat of lordship. So, the capital. Seat on the capital of Briar? I don't know. Seat of Briar. Take the seat of Briar. So he's gonna go ahead and get that done. Hopefully I'm able to see him sitting up there and when his first child is born. And that's gonna make me so happy. I'll be happy to end off this series on that note. Okay, let's go and get Suzuchi. This episode, I don't know, may run a little bit longer, but I'm not gonna end it until I see, uh, until I see our Ozorochi, Lord Ozorochi on that seat. Okay, Agonel, get your greenstone. You can help out with the bundles. And this, Suzuchi has a few days left, so at least they can bond together quite nicely. Okay, Vubia. Let's ignore everything else. And there we go. Try and jump along. We'll get Luel to light up the way a little bit there. Olesa, you need to try and catch up with everyone here. So there we go. Now she's on the front lines. How exciting is that? Let's come to the port city of Skeen. 
foreign. The six, let's grab some nuts and a berry. Are you good at hunting? No, you're not, unfortunately. Your mother is, though. So where are the bunnels? Where did the bunnels go? Go and hunt the bunnels! So she's gonna chase off to the bunnels. And let's have a look. These guys need to make some progress here. And everyone can pretty much get moving. Everyone who's lighting the way, like Nightingale the Third, Lady Ifeen, and Flame Zom the Third, they can kind of get moving. So over here, we'll get Elenovia to clear away these areas. We'll get Elenovia the Second to clear away that, dig, dig up this bit of root. Nightingale the Second. Let's grab these areas and Raven the Fifth. She's done so much exploring, hasn't she? I feel like she's done a heck load of exploring. Okay, they're gonna move in that area. And the new overlord flames arm. His father never had the opportunity to step across this bridge, but he is going to. So he's gonna step along here. And there we go! His overlooking the new domain that he is gonna establish as the Overlord. His father did a lot of work trying to clear away this area, and I think his father's greatest accomplishment was actually discovering the port city of Briar and establishing the port city of Briar. So, I think that's actually a fun legacy to have left behind. Okay, um, Nightingale III, you and Lady Ifeen are gonna jump on through. Leaving Flames on the third behind, yes, that is how things are gonna go. Um, Lady Ifeen, do you wanna stick here or do you wanna help explore? I think everyone at this point is wanting to take part in the explorations that's going to occur. Now this island doesn't have birds, so I feel like it's okay to leave Flames on the third behind. Um, it's not too problematic. But okay, let's turn the day. Now this is where I would typically end, but I'm not going to because this is the final episode and I think we have a few milestones that I want to reach to make myself happy. So let's go ahead and maybe play one more day. Okay, Flames on the third. Let's give you your warrior stone, young one, and you're going to try and inch your way towards where everyone else is going, but it might be a while before you're able to catch up. Because, again, you are quite young. Ignel, let's have a look at you. Let's try and get, uh, get these berries. It's raining, so that's awesome. Okay. Vubia. Oh, we have the well, who's aged up a little bit. Vubia, come on, you can do it. Let's jump on down here. And we'll get Lady Olesa to make a bit of a bridge. And there we go. Vubia is over here. She should be able... To, oh, let's let's grab this bundle. Nice. She should be able to cross over and meet up with Foreign the, the Sixth. So they can get used to each other's company because she's going to become the next Lady of Skin. Which is quite fun. The Well. Let's get you moving and grooving up here. And let's see. Okay, these guys. Yep, they've gotten moving. Okay, we need everyone here to kind of spread out a little bit more. So let's create... Oh, fine. Grab that berry, Olesa. I mean, Graven. Why do I keep calling Olesa? Did we have an Eachling that had that appearance that was called Olesa? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, Nightingale the Third. Let's catch up with your father. It's your father's final days. I think you should spend some time with him. Olesa the Sixth. She has made her way from her small island, her port city over to the frontiers of exploration. So she's actually living quite an exciting life. Elenovia the second. Let's jump onto this end. There we go. We'll get Elenovia the third to come along here and clear away this. And Overlord Flames Arm, who's kind of been overseeing this whole operation, is gonna try and jump along the riverside, or along the lake side, actually. This is the lake where Ozorochi spent a lot of his time. And finally, on to Ozorochi and his family. We are going to get Lady Ifeen on this nest. Let's pluck a berry. She's going to jump down here and have the first child for our wonderful port city. Okay, Lord Ozorochi, can we reach? Yes, we can. We can reach his seat. So guys, let's go ahead and get Celestila. 
Where does she want to go? Do you want to get her up here? Yep, she's going to pluck a berry and she's going to be in attendance of the niece or nephew that's about to be born. And we are going to end with Lord Ozorochi on his seat and after the birth of his first ever child. Is it going to be an heir to the port city of Briar? Or is it going to be a lovely young girl? Let's have a look before we wrap this all up. And it's an heir! Look at that! He's got four strength, four fishing! He is the perfect heir to the port city of Briar and potentially he's stronger than any of the leaders we have in line. But okay, we are gonna give him a pretty fun... Oh well, we don't have to because he's Ozorochi the second, that's right. Okay, so Ozorochi the second. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the port city of Briar that you are gonna inherit one day in a, f in a future that we probably won't get to see, but we can kind of follow this along in our imaginations. Guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off here. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in our next niche adventure. Bye bye.